going on folks once again i'm there from that stack that's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller don't worry ma'am i am from the internet and today i want to do a video a project on how to get one of these dollar store lights to basically last um about all night oh the rain's really picking up now i gotta get a shot of that mm, there's one thing i love it's mother nature combine mother nature with technology and we got us some solar lights karen so i might be taking the solar lights a little bit far i love light i love yellow i love sunlight anyways these dudes i've had for a while and i noticed that just because you have lights doesn't mean that they will last for any particular amount of time and it all comes down to the battery that you use now here's the information i want you to find uh 101 milliamp hours that's how far it will go to now these solar are always 1.2 volts i legitimately don't know why they advertise them for these things because they they're just wicked in uh, solar. Now I should be saying the reason that I want these things to last for a long time is I got a brother who has a house. He's building this house outside of town and it's nice just to have some lights on in the middle of the night so that when the bad guys drive by they don't see an abandoned house. I'm sure some of you have family that live outside of town. You know that every now and then people ride through you know looking for B&E's just like in the city. So uh, I'm making it my responsibility to make sure that his house has light. Now most of these are surprisingly easy to get into. You just pull up says screws you're fine. I'm not used to that sound. Now I can't guarantee that these things are like waterproof, so uh, hold on, check my channel to see how well these things last. But it looks like as long as I keep these things operating with gravity a certain way, the water won't get into the component. Okay, now here's the deal with the batteries. Get the best. I opened the sucker up, the battery is bouncing around. That's okay, I can get other ones, no big deal. Now here's the thing. You can either go out, this is the battery that was originally in there, 100 milliamp hours, 1.2 volt, and this is what I want to replace it. Uh, now this is AAA, that's AA. That's more than 10 times the power, gonna get you through the night. But if I just wanted to make this easy, I get another AAA, which is only 720 milliamp hour. Now, of course, it's not gonna fit unless we make it fit. Luckily, I have tools for that. All you have to do is break the housing out a little bit. So yeah, as you can see here, we can remove the housing and that'll give us space to uh, tape in a new unit. I tape in my units much like this, but since my brother's getting this unit, I'm going to be getting good tape, <laughs> electrical tape, and that's whatever I have around in my room. So as you can see, it just barely fits, but you can squeeze it in there, and then that will facilitate a double A instead of a triple A, and that's 11 times the power. This thing will last you through the night. Ladies love it when they can last through the night. That's what they say. And of course I wouldn't know because I'm a tech sitting out here in the rain. Mm, perhaps the ways of the woman are a mystery to me. Then again, women understand women and they hate each other. So I, I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with solar power and not for reviews of conundrums for now. Now I just need to do it another nine times. Yay. So the rain continued and I gotta say with one of these single batteries the unit lasted the night. I was up till 3.30 last night and all these units were still running very nicely. Um, we, if you're going to be using these in the rain, you might want to get some kind of gasketing because one of the units did stay on even though the sun came out. But uh, this kind of unit would definitely be good if you're going to put it on the inside of a window or uh, just a place where the rain wasn't soaking it directly. Now that's one unit out of about 13. Maybe it's some kind of factory issue but i just thought i'd give you that information but seriously guys have a good time enjoy your garden walks enjoy your solar and take care of each other will you please